الله عليكم وما أنزل عليكم من وما أنزل عليكم من الكتاب. These madrasa students study the Quran for more than eight hours a day due to their passion to learn more about Islam. Most madrasas place religious study above any other type of learning. To many secular and western minds, the word madrasa is linked with Islamic terrorism and extremism. In recent years, Pakistan has seen a mushrooming of radical madrasas. In 1947, there were only 189 madrasas in the country. Today, there are more than 40,000 unregistered madrasas instructing almost 2 million students. But this madrasa, located in Lahore's Gari Shah area, a low socio-economic neighborhood, claims to impart religious education with a difference. خاص طور پہ انگریزی زبان میتھمیٹکس جرنل سائنس اور خصوصاً پاک اسٹڈی کی تعلیم نہایت اہمیت کی حامل ہے راغب نعیمی ہیڈ دس مدرسہ ہی سیز اے سیکولر مدرسہ از دا بیسز اف اے پروگریسو پاکستان ایسے طلبہ جو دینی علوم کے ساتھ ساتھ دنیاوی علوم سے بھی بہرہ مند ہوتے ہیں وہ پاکستان کی ترقی میں نہایت اہم کردار ادا کر سکتے ہیں The 500 male students who study at Jamia Naimiya recite the Quran by heart, learn Arabic and gain detailed knowledge of the Prophet's teachings. But one student says he enjoys studying mainstream subjects just as much. Here in Jamia Naimiya, because you can give M.A. English to the M.A. English, which is in the Sahafat and which is in the police and the Wapda. But the madrasa has paid a heavy price for its modern approach. On 12th June, the madrasa's previous head, Dr. Sarfraz Ahmed Naimi, was killed when a suicide bomber attacked the madrasa. The bomber entered the scholar's office and blew up himself, killing four people. Some analysts believe Naimi's death was due to his anti-Taliban stance. Sarfraz Naimi, who was... Uh a moderate and enlightened Muslim scholar and who preached pacifism. He stood firmly against them and for that reason he is one of those who have been targeted in Pakistan. The late scholar's son continues to preach his father's ideology. Walid e Grami alayhi rahma ka yehi mission jo shidat basandi aur taliban adashan ke khalaf tha Jamai Nehmiya aur uske tamam marakeen aur mera yehi moto aage ke liye hai. In a television interview given some weeks before his death, Dr. Sarfraz Naimi elaborates his point of view about the Taliban. We understand that whether they are Sufi Muhammad, whether they are Batullah Masood, whether they are Pakistani Tahriki Taliban, they are all about the purpose of 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 the purpose. Naimi isn't the only anti-Taliban Madrasa leader in Pakistan, but he was definitely the most prominent. He was one of the few religious scholars who openly and wholeheartedly supported the military operation in Malakand. Today, the madrasa led by him continues to produce hundreds of students who echo his words. Taliban to zaira kisi ko bhi achhe nahi lagte honge, kyunki wo insaniyat ke saath itna zulm aur sitam kar rahe hain. Besides Jamia Naimiya, the other prominent secular madrasa in the country is Jamia Ashrafia. Mufti Ashik Ali is one of the prominent teachers at the madrasa. Secular se murad agar ye hai ke maujooda dunia ke andar jo ulum hai, jo kaljyon aur university mein padhaye ja rahe hain, wo madrasa ke nisab mein shamil honne chahiye to ye zaroor honne chahiye. But the majority of madrasas in Pakistan remain solely concentrated on Islamic teachings. When students here aren't praying, they are preparing for prayer. Most madrasa leaders believe these institutes are meant to impart religious knowledge only and to support jihad. Kari Kufran is one such leader. Our point of view is that the child comes to the faith. The rest of the faith is not given to the faith. The rest of the faith is not given to the faith. The rest of the faith is given to the faith. There are thousands of schools, colleges, universities. جہاں پر یہ کام ہو رہا ہے ہمارا ایک اپنا نظام ہے اس کے ساتھ ہم دینی مدارس عوام کے لیے اور پوری دنیا کے لیے اور پورے ملک کے لیے ایسے افراد تیار کرتے ہیں جو صرف ان کو قرآن و حدیث کی تعلیم دے سکیں
As the debate within religious scholars about the purpose of madrasa continues, a Jamia Naimiya students remain loyal to their founder's message. تو طالبان جو دعویٰ کرتے ہیں کہ ہم جو ہیں ہم اسلام نافذ کرنے والے ہیں اگر وہ اسلام نافذ کرنے والے ہیں تو ان کا یہ بم بلاسٹ کر کے پاکستانی کے پاکستان کے گورنمنٹ اداروں کو تباہ کرنا اور لوگوں کو کام قتل عام کرنا لوگوں کا اور ڈاکٹر صاحب کو شہید کرنا تو اس سے یہ پتہ چلتا ہے کہ جو طالبان ہیں ان کا مشن اسلام پھیلانا نہیں بلکہ اسلام کو بدنام کرنا ہے And in this manner, Jamia Naimiya and other such institutions continue to carve out a new definition of Madrasas in Pakistan.